How you doing? This is your boy Jimmy J. J. Smooth out the A32. Uh, and I'm on that bullshit all day, every day. So I'm going to the Olympics. Uh, I just got through going to the boxing uh, during the Olympics. Uh, I was just uh, surfing around for boxing events and shit like that. But I was also got through talking about Tony Yaka, you know, potential uh, future uh, box or well, future uh, world champion potentially. Uh, damn good boxer. So uh, with wrestling, and this is one of the. I want to say this is not one of the better years in terms of wrestling because, for the most part, uh, the wrestling, for the most part, was dominated by the Eastern European guys. You know, usually it'd be competition between the United States and uh, Eastern Europe, European, like Germany and stuff like that. But it's like the Russian dudes, like, completely swept wrestling. Now, another shocker to me is the Japanese wrestlers, the women on the women's side. They, like, straight dominated the wrestling. I think four of the six gold medalists, the four of the six gold medalists, as a matter of fact, had won a gold medal in women's freestyle wrestling, but the Eastern European guys were, uh, like, dominating the damn Olympics. Another thing I also seen uh, was um, a few Cuban guys got a gold medal, and this is in, I think it's greco Roman. Yeah, Greco-Roman wrestling, so shout out to those brothers from Eastern Europe. Um, but what was even bigger shocker in the Olympics was, what's that, I want to say, I can't think of the black guy's name for the save my damn life, but he got put out the Olympics after winning a gold medal in uh, in uh, London and stuff like that, so it, it's crazy, man. This is the Olympics of shockers and the Olympics of milestones, and please believe this, you know, and again, this is not to diss any nationalities or anything of that nature, but in swimming, you see Michael Phelps accomplishing all those things, and uh, I'm a big Michael Phelps Phelps fan myself. But in swimming, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna go on a limb by saying this: in the next four Olympics, you're gonna see a black dude. If he don't shatter those records, he's gonna accomplish damn near close to those records. You said it. I said it first on here. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the stereotype goes around that black people can't swim. Uh, black people can't do this, da 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 da. da. Okay, fine. But that's one of those things, like, cause they, but they said the same thing about golf, the same same thing about hockey and other um, events and shit like that. So, uh, you're gonna see something. Trust me, because our athletes just flourish. I mean, certain about people who look like me. Those athletes, our athletes, black athletes really flourish, you know. That's not to take away from any any of the white athletes out there, but it is what it is, you know. Look at golf, look at tennis, look at, you know, even hockey, shit, you know. The number one draft pick a few years ago was a black guy, you know. So, you're definitely going to see, but I love the Olympics, the uh Olympic program was good. The open, opening ceremonies and the closing ceremony was beautiful. Rio really showed out, and a lot of people did that Zika virus scare, all that bullshit. Um, now with the Olympic basketball team, the Olympic basket, the Olympic, the men's Olympic basketball team of, of America, they did their damn thing. Uh, but for the most part, they had a few scares uh, down uh, in the pool play in in the semifinals. But when the going got tough and they went to the gold medal round, uh, shit, they blew, what was it? I think it was Serbia. 
Serbia, they blew their asses out. And they showed that they that, that the United States basketball team is the best in the world. And I wish these dudes, I wish we would send the best basketball players in the world because a lot of times we send an undersized lineup. We don't send natural power forwards. We use small forwards and shit to um, to uh, to play the center position, you know, or play the power forward position. And, you know, I want to get back to where we send the best out there, the best in each position and, like, get back to dominating like we used to uh, before, uh, before 2000 Olympics. But... We did show that the United States basketball team is the best basketball in the world. Uh, but the Olympic events, uh, it had to be something in their water out there. It's just something about Latin America slash, slash uh, South America to where these guys out here were, you know, were just accomplishing sh- shit. Uh, with Olympic boxing, it wasn't too much of a surprise that the Cuban slash Soviet bloc did their thing, but it wasn't as easy as it has been because of the fucking scoring and shit like that, so, but still, uh, Olympic boxing is getting closer and closer to the world, uh, more people are getting better at boxing, so, that'll be interesting to see, uh, but there are some guys I can see becoming pros, the three Cuban fighters, I can easily see them becoming uh, great professional, the Tony Yaka guy, I can definitely see him becoming a great professional also. But that was my uh, view, that was my point of view from the Olympics, uh, comments, question, observation, and I'll holler.